with the Tetra Master card uh, game tutorial now over, it's time to actually try our hand at playing uh, a game. Uh, the game starts by choosing five cards from your collection. Uh, obviously, we don't have a lot to choose from, and most of the cards actually do suck. So we're going to have to kind of make the best, uh, kind of make the best out of this current situ uh, situation. So once you have the cards that you're going to start with, uh, go ahead and start the game. Uh, depending on the coin toss, determines who goes first, and you can basically pick wherever you want to put your card on the grid. Um, you're going to want to take into consideration everything that Alleyway Jack taught you. Use the elements and the rules uh, of Tetra Master to really pull off a win. As you can see, I'm currently beating uh, Alleyway Jack 3 to 1. But you're going to want to be careful not to get overconfident or to be too sure of yourself because at any one point in time, the wrong choice can mean disaster. And as you can see, I'm now losing 4 to 2. And I've kind of backed myself into a corner where it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, for me to win. Um, so, so yes, uh, as you can see, I'm losing. I lost. Uh, game over. Um, worst case scenario is you're going to lose a card because it's not a perfect game. Uh, if you do lose to a perfect game, you will lose all five cards. Uh, but it's kind of like a, a little bit of... Uh, Incentive, Alloway Jack tells you that this is the only town that he goes by that name. So he's got other ali aliases, and his real name, if we ever want to find out, we're going to have to get better at the game. So that really lets you, it really gives you a goal to strive for. So after thanking him for a, for the tutorial, for a good, you know, good game, uh, go ahead and start finding the items that are just laying around waiting to be picked up here in the bar. After you've found all the treasure at the bar, it's time to start heading back to our Rat Kid Master, air quotes. Uh, you know, we might as well go check out see what he's doing with that ladder, so uh, be on your way. Go ahead and let our rat kid friend go into the church. We're going to go into this house over here. Um, we're basically looking for items again. Uh, stealing items from random people's houses. Um, actually, the girl that helped us with the ticket actually, I guess, lives here. So we can't steal from her while she's in the house. So we're going to go ahead and head out and go towards the docks and basically wait for her to leave. Once she leaves, we can turn around and dash back into the house to uh, steal from the little girl when she's not there. I, I find it hilarious that we stole from her grandmother and now we're stealing from her. Uh, Final Fantasy IX, no morals. You know, it's, it's interesting that uh, you can finders, keepers, take whatever the hell you want. Um, anyways, from there you're going to want to go back down towards the docks. So we're actually going to be going up this uh, plank here to go talk to this, this kid uh, named Tom. Uh, apparently he has lost his cat, Mittens, and uh, if you help him, he'll give you a reward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that the cat is all the way back in the first plaza you went to with the statue, so make your way back over there. There's that blasted cat. Uh, when you find him, Tom will come running up saying, you know, oh, you found him, thank you. Um, but here's what I don't get. He'll take the cat, thank you, and then run off. He couldn't give you the reward there? No, you had to go all the way back to the docks 
and then he'll give you a reward. So run all the way back. A bomb card. Really? I did all that running, and I found you stupid cat, and you gave me a Tetra Master card. Thanks a lot. Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. You know, it's a reward for doing something nice as opposed to stealing from kids. Uh, anyways, in the staple, uh, Rat Kid informs us that we have to climb up the tower first, uh, but there are some items uh, in the church to find, and for some reason, I get turned around and lost and confused and you're just going to have to put up with me trying to find these stupid items. After you find both the potion and the tent, uh, which just for some reason seem abnormally hard, uh, try to climb the tower and you'll get hit by a moogle on top of the head. Uh, this is the first moogle that you'll find in Final Fantasy IX. In fact, uh, this game is abundant with moogles. Um, after introductions are made, the moogle named Kupo uh, will basically explain to you that moogles um, are able to to save your game for you. They're able to allow you to to use tents, uh, which will heal your party, and and a whole bunch of other things. Um, but the one thing that I've noticed is their grammar is a little off, or at least Koopo's is. Um, but after introductions, Rat Kid here will start to climb up the ladder with the ladder, which begs the question: Why we had to go first? Uh, after Rat Kid basically tells us to follow him up the ladder, uh, another Moogle comes into the church by the name of Stiltskin. Uh, him and Koopal start talking, and it appears that Stiltskin is, is leaving on a journey. Um, you're going to find him throughout the, the world, so you might want to keep an eye out for him. Uh, but they, they, they keep talking about writing and letters and keeping in touch, and that, and that basically preludes a feature known as Magnet. Uh, which we're going to be talking about our ne in the next video. Uh, so as Stiltskin leaves, uh, Rat Kid uh, basically wants to know why we're not up there already. So uh, we're going to make him wait a little bit longer. So we're going to go ahead and take the opportunity to save our game. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about Mothman.